Linares. But Jorge Linares was once who they think is, if anything, not one of the most recent years. And uh, everyone was very... <laughs> the broad shoulders on 130. Nettly fighting with pink glove. A, uh, you'll notice that the neutral corners both have... And I don't want Roach and, and a reason that Linares can be a better prospect than Khan. What they kill is enormous. But he we're speaking just about Linares. He's a rangy, tall. He's not, but you look at the natural athleticism in Linares. It's just everything. One of the most coordinated. A, a fighter with natural talent. King is a world class opponent. Natural talent has resulted in amazing technique. Oh, and a straight right hand. I mean, Antonio DeMarco, some people wonder. The did appear shocking. Be one of the most fantastic. It's like a well-oiled machine. And looking at the expression face when he went to, he's a little bit troubled by this. Uh, Oscar Larios, as level of, of talent and skill at that early age, that? and as a lightweight here, he looked vision in less than a year. He was. Yet there still remains the question about his chin, having been KO'd with, you know, by a certain nerve, yes. a certain spot. Particularly happen in the first round. In the right? first round, when, when, when the body is not warmed up. Linares's chin tested here. It was expected that we would see Linares's chin tested with a straight left hand. But happen at some point. Knockouts come from an accumulation. And adjust to Linares's uh, rhythm right now a little bit better. Doing a much, much better. Think the first round it was where he just was not prepared for anyone with that speed. This has been a much more move and throw punches, which showed. But Jim, you and I've Linares, smooth boxer with power in any direction. We talked about uh, Linares is unusual to go to live and fight in Japan. Uh, Antonio DeMarco at H and moved to Tijuana with an ant streets in Tijuana before he was adopted by boxing people who he says saved his life. This may be DeMarco's round. This right, he's always looking very good. He's adjusted a lot to Linares' speed. What has made Freddie Roach such an effective trainer? Yeah, one trainer by being a fighter, and then he was tutored and mentored by one of the great boxing trainers, Eddie Futch, and uh, as a result, all the way up to the top. And he boxing with the best. He has the kind of scene that you had at the Kronk in the early days with bushels of... Shop fighters, pool shooters, or whatever, they're shooting against the best, the game goes up. To deadly. A part of the, what happens there, of course, is the synergy with Pacquiao. We've talked in the past. He was 16 of 47 in the second round first. He's blocking DeMarco's right hand with his left and firing. That time DeMarco fired the left down the middle. I, the I see how Freddy has. He's so talented. But I think his natural disposition is really his personality. Well, if he can do both, if Freddy can teach him to hold for anyone, of course, assuming that the chin will hold up. Again, we'd like to see it tested tonight against DeMarco. As you mentioned. You know, earlier when I first heard of him, he was with Ken Adams, was a trainer when he was invaded. Ken what Adams, an uppercut. Kind of, what a great fighter he was. It's Michael Jordan. You can't help but to get. There's a mouse under the left eye of DeMarco, probably from a Lenar. Right hand lands yes, for Lenars the over the top. Lands a combination, takes a right hand and a left from DeMarco. Oh. Linares is beginning to show that instinct to answer back after he's been through three rounds. Linares has landed for DeMarco. Harold, how do you have it? Jorge Linares. And I think the key to the fight is Jorge Linares. DeMarco doesn't get off unless he's coming forward like that. Linares let him get him forward, getting the first punch in. DeMarco bites down on that mouthpiece. For some reason, Jorge Linares has his mouth to him. From Linares. You know, you mentioned going forward. I guess the answer is yes, based on this. Well, as is usually the case, some people wrote him off after the first round knockout loss to Salgado. But Emmanuel Stewart happened to anyone. It happened to Khan, and look where Khan is now. Don't amaze him, Linares, at this point. They can punch and get in and out, even if they miss a punch. I actually think Donaire is a more... But Linares combines that sort of... Partially because he's handsome, and partner in Japan, Mr. Honda is a friend of Oscar De La Hoya's. The comparison has always been to De La Hoya. Is there, in fact, a... Very effective. There's a better puncher probably than yes, Linares. Was, but for yes, just all-around coordination and bounce. You know, it, it's, boxing is tough. And I think Chad knows that he's going in fight with Bernard, which is what he should do. Normally, in this case, you're into the referee. 
To be fair, the referee's instructions went on minute clip, so it is through round four in this particular fight. DeMarco 14 of 91, including a 14 to 3 advantage in the fourth round. Now, it'll be interesting to see if Jorge Lenar point during the fight. Rounds appears extraordinary. Of this extraordinary talent doesn't seem discouraged to me. He Easily slips away. The Never leaves himself to get caught by stating in mind his work. After he punches, he moves away. Oh, punch he's thrown. In the past, Lenaris has thrown more stride, but there are more bent punches here, I know. One question. You can knock breast cancer out, perhaps. Way of rolling with punches, Emmanuel. I mean, yes. I haven't got hit with an uppercut there by DeMarco. Maybe the best punch in a while. I, I, I saw him roll a lot from DeMarco's right hook, which I've never saw. There's a lot of rolling, dipping, and dodging. Mixes up everything. Doesn't just roll, he turns his head all yeah, the way around. Slips, ducks, turns, pivots. Panamanian Roberto Duran style. <laughs> Here you see beautiful in and out, balance, coordination, unbelievable. And you'll see, in addition to this ability to punch, get away from a punch, and then act with pinpoint punches. That's perfect form on the jab. Perfect form, That's position. perfect form on the right cross. And then red 46. Probably cause noise. There's a good quick right hook, one of his best punches so far. I thought Linares has won every round. Her eye has been on a back from the punch. Hard right hand by Linares in a previous round. As your eye gets yes. trained to see yes. if one guy's head snap back. So when the other guy's head snap back, snaps back, you can kind of, it leaves a greater impression. Well, certainly DeMarco's more comfortable and more engaged in the fight than was the case in round one when he seemed stunned by Linares' speed. He isn't in that mode anymore at all. It's a fight. Yes, yeah. even though Linares is winning, right, and Marco is fighting very, very... Dedicated, spirited fighter. He put up a heck of a show against uh, the... Edwin Valera. Tremendous yeah. punching Edwin Valera. This is an important test for Linares. A Good young hard fighter. Hand by DeMarco down the middle. A young fighter who's shown up to win and is fighting with energy and is not getting discouraged. How does Linares respond? Now, this is DeMarco's best round, it appears to me. And if Harold Letterman gave DeMarco the last round, he might wind up giving him this one too because DeMarco's landed some very good, clean shots in the last minute. And now there's blood on Linares. Again, Linares starts to show that instinct of wanting to fire back an attack when it's clear that he's been hurt and been marked. Freddie Roach told Linares to con because DeMarco is starting to get a little rowdy and trying to take the fight to Linares. Linares has not heated. First round, DeMarco got adjusted to his speed. At first, he was bewildered by the speed of Linares. And from that point on, Linares has never been able to just, at this stage right now, DeMarco's coming on and actually winning the fight at this last two rounds. Well, goodness. And the Mexican fans have come alive. Good uppercut by DeMarco after the two good body shots by Linares. Linares, because he's not using the jet, Marco's preferred distance and getting hit far too often. Linares' is excellent cut man, Joe Chavez, is going to have work to... Punches then. Linares has all throughout the entire night. Six to Marco, 18 of 44. Linares, 27 of 86. Was a power shot. Harold, how do you have it through six? We've got a four-round fight to Antonio DeMarco. For four rounds, Jorge Linares came forward. He got off first. I said it, the last pushes your back. You're in big trouble, and DeMarco's showing that. Round it, get off first, land the big shots. Jorge Linares' face is showing it. Four rounds to two, it, oh, Jorge Linares. Hey, by the way, DeMarco drew blood on Edwin Valero, too, yep. in two different places before Valero all correctly anticipated in the fifth round that there was a change in the fight. There was a change in the fight. In behind his jab here in round seven just score blood and this will help DeMarco well it certainly helps his confidence as he gets and this is some test now for young Jorge Linares and it was thrown around thinking he would not be making his head rolling to the to his right which is the wrong move for a southpaw especially after so many rounds of boxing with Manny Pacquiao right in other words when you roll with a punch the idea is to yeah, but move he's your doing head yeah, yeah. after all that talk about how gift I think sure. DeMarco we probably have Underestimated, we were so busy praising Lenar the fight because he adjusted to the speed of Lenar's. He, he, he comes from Los Mochis, one of the toughest towns in Lower Mexico down in Sinaloa, which also has produced other prize fighters Eric Montiel, Jorge Arce, and Umberto Soto, who is a distant cousin of his. Or, and of course, the three official judges may differ from Harold. 
go to Max Kellerman with Freddie Roach and Lenars and DeMarco Sully is trying to back us up and he's had some success with that with that style. He's trying to get him stay, stay in control of the fight. You asked him to use his jab. He forget about the jab. He's changed too much a little bit. He, he's looking for the exchange and the combinations. And I think look, look, look if he's really, really ready for that yet. Jamarco, uh, I like seeing him break him down for a little more first. Um, but he, I, that, the blood's bothered him a little bit, but he's okay. On the corner. Um, but of course, and uh, the fight's getting a lot, lot tighter, of course. Throwing the guy, and I think he was still ahead is moving way as counter punchers do sir in this round coming forward but has not landed nearly as many effective blows it appears as was the case in the preceding some judges particularly american judges have difficulty scoring for them as though they're controlling so it becomes interesting to see it's antonio demarco who's going to polish his own credentials tonight you see how much more naturally out from Linares when he's not coming forward. So Linares now has two cuts. Even though oh. hard right hand by Linares. Even though tonight, to my lights, he's winning the round. He's to stay. He gets a tiny bit of breathing on as well. And that may be more important than who won the round. There's a big difference with fighter who shows up thinking he can win and fights with real vigor like DeMarco is doing. That is that Linares has rolled though. Ricardo Juarez, Jesus Chavez, that's Rocky. He's doing everything good. It's just, I think DeMarco is just adjusting calculated pressure. He's placing this very conservative with his punches. And at this stage, I don't think, as you were saying, Max, on this level with him, a young competitive fighter instead of just an old name fighter. No, nothing was effective as far as landing back in his face again. Linares' face not fall. His opponent looks fresh. Mano as we Mano pointed Mano out, Mano. the fight can be stopped on Linares. The balance has shifted here. Encouraged. But the quest always going to break up like this against hard punchers. And also, enthusiasm now gets upended what boxing's all about. Triple left hook. So far, Linares has shown a real fighter's mentality of this blood on his face and this guy in his face. He's breathing like a pig. He's backing up, doing everything, landing some sensational shots. Just be careful you don't get clocked in the last three rounds. But Harold, Six. what chance, excuse me, go ahead. What chance that Linares and his face and cut man Joe Chavez. And now he's got a cut on his right eye and not pulling it. It's still putting him in great shape. I'm not sure if I heard correctly, but no, I no, thought no, I heard no, 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 no. In, in between it was a cut man saying he doesn't have something he needed. For well, that's the only thing they couldn't remain. It's not cold medicine, that's for sure. I think so. Stretch and ultimately it helped to bring him down. And he's having Third round. DeMarco gets Marco can get off. Q-tip out of his mouth during the round, and so he didn't have his medicine unprepared without medicine. He appears to be getting safer on the scorecards and the cuts, which are deepening. Lamarco is still fighting a very technical fight. He yes, may get caught himself. Do you think the Linares speed of Lenars is still bothering him? That's the point I was going to make. Do you think Lenars stared him down in the last two rounds with all that hand speed? Yeah, that's and Demarco is in at this moment. Would only have thrown 27 punches in that round. Yeah, he said Lenars uh, outspirited him, and it's amazing that he's in such a great. But his punches go. Since the bad cut up to only 27 for Demarco, that's called fighting back. Part of the problem here may be. You got a tall, lanky right-hander in Khan. You got a short in uh, Manny Pacquiao. For a guy like DeMarco. Incidentally, he hasn't yet sparred with Amir Khan. Right. That point should be made. He right. sparred 30 rounds with Pacquiao. He has not. Now here comes DeMarco again. Crowd is buzzing as it appears DeMarco. Lenora says, come on in. The, and the blood is bothering DeMarco. I mean, Lenora. The blood is flowing into his right eye. There's a real change here, Jim. Yep. Linares is getting hit with everything. He wasn't getting hit with anything. Oh, now he's getting right. hit with everything. But he's firing back he's still. Firing back. He's still firing back. Ducking and slipping, blocking a couple, getting hit with a lot. Oh. If they make... And DeMarco... Oh, oh, hard right hand by DeMarco after a body shot by Linares. 
Minara's entire face, a mask of blood. He lands a right hand in return and backs DeMarco up. What a round. What a fight. It's become a potential fight of the month candidate. It's one of the best rounds you can see. Lenar seemingly badly hurt in the nose with a right hand by DeMarco moments ago. Two amazing shots by DeMarco. How did Lenar stay up? It's over. And Raul Pais is going to stop the fight. Er, for for DeMarco, overwhelming setback for Jorge Linares, who is brokenhearted in his corner. He fought his heart out. He fought his heart out. I think those injuries had a lot. One and two. Antonio DeMarco moves up to 26 and two. Emmanuel, tell us what's happening here. Right here, you see this short, straight left right here that probably changed the whole course of the last round. That shot landed directly in the center of the face, right on the nose. And I believe the blood flowing into Linares' right eye probably yes. had something to do. Yes. And as, as DeMarco is blocking punches, he's steadily moving forward. And every punch that he delivers now, he's lunging and pushing his entire body through with the punch. So a big comeback and a brilliant win for Antonio DeMarco, who collects a lightweight title belt and another demoralizing setback for Jorge Linares. One more look at the end of the fight. A spectacular 11th round in which both fighters gave their all, and ultimately, Raul Caiz stopped it. Hard to dis- Antonio, Tony DeMarco.